Hi guys, happy Friday. This is Javi. Welcome to the BC Boutiques channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple necklace with a Bisu by 1928 connector. And here it, that dear connector is. And it's an, of course it's an old silver. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do um, to make this simple necklace with these lovely leaf beads that we have on the site. Of course, these are purple. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to connect this all and make a beautiful necklace. So I have examples for you, so let me show you that really quickly. I have one in gold. Oh, here it goes, okay. I'm gonna show you guys this example I have here. If I can bring it up in camera. I have one with using five connectors of the BC by 1928 in gold. And I'm gonna show you another one here that I made recently as well with the BC by 1928 gold with a three connectors as well, the teardrop leaf beads. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make something similar to these styles. I'm gonna show you that. So you need three connectors it has to be like a y-shaped connector to make this work and then you need of course your leaf beads and i'm going to show you guys how to do that so i have the necklace partially done here i'm going to show you guys here so i'm going to show you guys how to make i'm going to pull these up make the wrap the leaves here i'm going to show you guys up close what I'm talking about. We're gonna learn how to wrap this and connect it at the end. And I'm gonna show you how to do one of these as well. How to do this little wrap on the top. So I'm gonna get that started. Of course, you need your 20 gauge wire, of course, of your preference if you have matching. So I have silver and you need a, a little ruler. I have some fabric ruler and you need your your flat nose pliers, your round nose pliers, and your chain nose pliers, and don't forget your cutters. So, and oh, I totally forgot about the jumpy tool. You need your jumpy tool. <laughs> That's very important. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Okay, I got my leaf beads here. I'm gonna show you how to cut some chain here. Now cut some chain, cut some wire. I'm very sorry about that. So I'm gonna, I think I used two inches of wire, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. Sorry if I'm out of frame. Am I even cutting the wire? I don't know. Okay, so I used two inches of wire just to make this little um, top wrap up here. So I'm going to just do that. So of course you need your round nose pliers to do that. Just make a little loop on the top. Little loop, if I can get it in frame. A loop just like that. I'm gonna just flatten it a little bit. Could have used the flat nose pliers for that. Okay, and then you're just gonna slide your leaf bead, slide your leaf bead in there. Should look like this. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna start bending it upwards if I can. And then I'm gonna get my round nose pliers and make a little loop on the other end. If I can do that on frame, this would be great. Okay, I made it kind of wonky. <laughs> so I'm guessing that looks good enough. Okay, sorry. So just, if it's not perfect, hey, practice makes perfect after a while. So <laughs> just make a bunch of these if you have to. And I'm just gonna pull it forward so I can get it cut. They got a tight area. I'm just gonna cut it off right there. And I'm gonna flatten it right back down with my uh, chain nose pliers here. Just like that. And just like that. So that's how you get this little shape here. 
So I'm going to leave that right there. So I have two now. Haha. <laughs> and now we're going to do another piece and I'm going to make show you guys how to make this. This little wrap on top. It's a simple wrap. I'm going to use 20 gauge wire. If I didn't say that enough, and I'm going to cut 2 inches. Right around there. And I'm going to just put this, yep, okay, I'm going to just get a leaf bead here. And I'm just going to put this in the hole. Usually this works out good. I don't know what's going on. I must have not straightened it enough. Make sure your wire is straightened. Nope, it must be some leaf beads are defected. <laughs> nah, it's just me. <laughs> I thought so. And now we're going to pull upwards. Upwards. And get a little bend on each side. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it close enough as much as you can. I'm just going to leave it right about there. This, that looks perfect to me. And now you just need your round nose pliers. I'm going to just bend this upwards. So you guys can see that and make a little loop on the top. Of course, I can't see it this way, so I gotta do it this way. And I'm gonna just pull that upwards, make a little loop on the top. That's a little too big for me. I'm gonna just tone it down. There we go. Looks good. Okay, so that looks pretty good I, right there. So I'm gonna pull this forward so I can get it cut. Sorry if I'm not in frame, guys. I'm going to pull this forward. And I'm going to just cut it. Whoops, I knew that was going to fly. And I'm going to squeeze it down. Squeeze it down just like that. And I'm going to pull this forward so I can get it cut where I need it to be cut at. So I'm going to cut it just about, if I can get it in there. Sorry, just going to cut it right around there. I don't want that to fly. That would be flying disaster. And then I'm just going to bring this upwards, just like that. And now you have your little connector. Doesn't that look cute? So I'm going to hook it all up. So let me hook it all up for you guys here. And I'm going to use four millimeter jump rings. So I'm going to just hook this up really fast. Hopefully I can do that. And I have this facing this way. So I'm going to go like that. Now I'm going to hook up on this on this side as well. So I'm going to get, I got four millimeter jump rings. I think I said that. And we're just going to open the jump ring. And we're going to put this through the loop. To this small loop if I can get that in there. And we're going to close that there. I close that. Okay. And now I, I'm going to measure out the chain for you guys. But I made this like a 16 inch necklace. So it's really close to the neck. Um, You don't have to if you don't want to. Whoops. I'm going to measure the chain for you. Um, so I have the chain here. I think I used uh, I used six inches on each side. Of course, I have an, I think an inch and a half extender. Um, so I'm going to hook that up and see how that looks. So let's get my jump ring here. And hook that up here. Okay, so that's all hooked up here. This is a little wonky here. Whoops, I'm gonna just take off my, and I'm gonna just hook it up. I did a little uh, thing at the end of course. I like to do that on my necklaces. I didn't do that on the blue one. I, I probably need to do that. So that's your end result of how this is going to look. 
So of course you can make one in five and you can add two more and make another leaf beads at the end if you wanted to. And of course you can make that longer. Um, so that's what I did in the gold here. And I'll just move this to the side. I did this in gold as well, but I did it with five instead of a um, three. So it's your preference, whatever you guys like. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. All this stuff is at bcboutiques.com. All this stuff you see here, we have it all on the website, the little filigree connector. Uh, this is all pewter. These are pewter. And we have the leaf beads on the website as well. And we have the wire and all this fabulous stuff. So come and get some goodies. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the BC Boutiques channel for more wonderful stuff. Of course, this is just me doing my video, but Brenda does so many wonderful videos. And if you haven't seen all her videos, they're just always ama amazing. She has wonderful content all the time. So don't forget to subscribe. Uh, love you guys. Have a wonderful Friday. See you later. Bye.